get started. Let's get started. Let's get, get started. Let's get, let's get started. Let's get, let's get started. All right. I'm going to show you how to install the Homebrew channel on the Nintendo Wii with menu version 4.3 without using any game exploits or anything like that. I'll be using the Will Brand launcher and you will need uh, an SD card. I'll be using a 2 gigabyte. And later on, you may want to invest in an external hard drive or a USB storage device. You can back up and play your Wii and GameCube games. And then, if you have an older uh, Wii, you can go to WiiDrives.com and use your Wii serial number to see if your uh, Wii drive is compatible to burn uh, Wii and GameCube games to a regular DVDs or just GameCube games to mini DVD dash artists. And of course for GameCube games you will need a GameCube controller and memory card. So, and uh, some apps and emulators work better with the GameCube controller anyway. So. Alright, let's get started. You can go to Wii Options. We settings. As you can see, I have menu version 4.3. Go over to internet and console information. And this is your MAC address. You'll need this for later. Normally, you can go to please.hackme.com to get download letter bomb, but for some reason their website is down. So at the time of recording this video, so you can just follow the link in the video description and download Will Brand Launcher 4.0. And once it's finished downloading, you can right click and extract it with. WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. You can open the folder and run the Will Brand Launcher EXE. And then type in the MAC address from earlier. And then select your system menu region. For me, it's U, America. And your system menu version. Mine's 4.3. You can bundle the HackMe installer. You can also have it copy directly to your SD card. So you can go to my computer. You can see my SD card is the D drive. So I would select the D drive. Then click the button to get We Will Brand and create the exploits. And this should only take a few moments for it to download and create everything. Okay, when it's finished, you remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into your Wii. Alright, you can go to the Wii message board, and then go over to yesterday, and then open the letter message. It should start the Hack Me installer, so you can just wait, and then press 1 to continue, and then continue, install the homebrew channel, yes, continue. And continue. Go to Boot Me, and then install Boot Me as iOS. Now, if you can install Boot Me as Boot 2, then you can do so. And yes, continue. Continue. And then when it's done, you can return to the main menu and exit. And then it should go to the Homebrew channel. This is where all of your apps on your SD card will appear. You can press home and exit to the system menu. And 
and there it is, the homebrew channel.